everyone here is a question from exercise 2.3 fourth question chapter is whole number of class 6 question is find using distributive property we have a couple of questions to solve now distributive property means let me explain here suppose I have a number like a into b plus c you can see that I have a I have a something in a bracket b plus c or it could be b minus c I'm taking example of addition here so b plus c we have and there's a number which is getting multiplied a multiplied by b plus c in that case a will get multiplied with b I'm opening the brackets so this is equal to a into b then we have a plus sign put the plus sign and again open the bracket multiply a with c so a into c this is called distributive property over addition because we have a plus sign here in the brackets if we have a subtraction sign it will be distributive property over subtraction that's it so we're going to use this property to solve this question so we don't have to directly multiply we have to split the number here let us take the first question which is 728 multiplied by 101 now you can split the number in your own way but your final answer will be same but which number to choose now choose a number such a way that when you split it like some number plus some number you should try to make a zeros in the number that is there should be a zero in that given number so that multiplication will become easy for example 101 I'm gonna split 101 here so it will, it will be 728 multiplied by this 101 I'm gonna write it as 100 plus 1 right that's it now you can see that it's a distributive property we have to use we have to open the brackets so multiply 728 with 100 then plus 728 multiplied by 1 that's it so 728 multiplied by 100 then plus 728 multiplied by 1 so whenever you're multiplying with 100 or 1000 you have to just put the zeros at the end so don't multiply just put the number of zeros we have 20 we'll get two zeros here plus 728 when you multiply 728 with 1 you will get 728 now you add this to uh, both these numbers you will get 7 3 5 2 8 that's it so this is how you have to understand which number to split let us see the second question now we have 5437 multiplied by 1001 so I hope you know understood so far like which number we're gonna split we're gonna split this thousand one thousand plus one okay again open the bracket multiply it multiply 5437 with thousand then plus again with one so it will be five four three seven multiplied by thousand then plus sign then five four three seven multiplied by one so we have a three zeros here so just write down the number followed by three zeros plus the same number you will get when you multiply with one now add this two number so this will be equal to you're going to get a big number five four four two four three seven i'm not adding and showing you i hope you know how to do the addition i'm directly writing down the answers here so that was second question now let's go to third question now third question is a bit different than the first two questions because the splitting is little different so let me raise a second question also now like I said the splitting is little different than the first two questions now here we have a 24 multiplied by 25 now like I said before we have to split the number in such a way that you get a zeros in the number so that multiplication will be easy now here you can split 25 as 20 plus 5 and uh, you can multiply a 24 with 20 and a 24 with 5 but multiplication with 5 like so far we have seen that we got 1001 and uh, 101 like that so multiplication was easy but again multiplying with the 5 will be again you have to do the calculation and again you have to multiply here with 2 also right so this is one way you want to do it you can go with that method so here in this question I'm gonna split a 24 keeping 25 same as it is so 824 I'm going to split here so this will be equal to 800 plus 24 okay then multiplied by 25 now I know you have I think you understood that in before multiplying 25 with 24 is still complicated so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to split 24 how so it will be 800 plus instead of 24 I'm going to write it as 25 minus 1 because 25 minus 1 is 24 okay and multiplied by 25 
Now here we can multiply easily. So 25 into 8 is, you know 25 into 8 is uh, 200, right? So we'll get 200 and we have here 800, right? So this two zeros also you will get here. Okay, let me write down this step and, and then I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to multiply this 25 with 800. I'm going to multiply 25 with 25 and 25 with 1. So keeping the sign same, so it will be 800. So 800 multiplied by 25, then we have a plus sign, put plus sign, then we have 25 multiplied by 25, then we have minus sign, put minus, and then 1 into 25. Now 800 into 25, so 25 8 size 200, and then we have a two zeros here, I'm going to put these two zeros. So multiplication with 25 is easier. 25 into 8 is 200 so I got it easily now 25 into 25 I hope you have learned the squares here 25 square is 625 so we we'll get here 625 then 25 ones are 25 so this is equal to so we have here 20,000 plus 625 minus 25 will be 600 now add these two numbers so it will be 20,600 that's it. That is problem C. So let's go to the next question. So we have 4275 multiplied by 125. Okay, so again you can split here 125. This 125 you can split 100 multiplied by 25. But if you observe here, we have to multiply this four digit number with 25 which is two digit number so multiplication will become again very big very complex so you can do it it's not it's, it's nothing wrong you can do in that way also so in this question also I, I'll not go in that way I'm gonna split 4275 like how we had done, uh, how I did for the previous question same way so how I'm gonna split this so I'm gonna split this as 4000 and I have a 275 left right so it will be 200 plus 75 all right multiplied by 125 now multiplying 75 and 125 is more complex so what I'm going to do here we know that 100 minus 25 is 75 so I'm going to write in place of 75 I'm going to write it as 100 minus 25 so 4000 plus 200 plus 100 minus 25 multiplied by 125 if you feel that this method is going long you can split 125 as 100 plus 25 you can multiply 4275 with 100 and again with 25 you can do in that way too you're gonna get the same answer so this is equal to now I'm gonna multiply here 125 fours. So I see we're multiplying with 125 and 4. You don't have to multiply with 4000. You have to just multiply with 4. Whatever answer you got, you put just put three zeros at the end. That's it. So 125 into 4. When you do it, you will get uh, 500. So 500, and then followed by this three zeros. Okay okay let me write down that step instead of directly multiplying let me show you the multiplication it's a 4000 multiplied by 125 so you have to multiply 125 with 4000 125 with 200 again with 100 and again with 25 so plus sign then 200 multiplied by 125 plus 100 into 125 now here we have minus sign so put that minus sign so 25 into 125 now you multiply those numbers so 125 into 4 is 500 and then there are three zeros so put these three zeros here then plus 125 into 2 is 250 so 250 and then we have a two zeros put these two zeros plus 125 into 100 will be 12500 zero, zero. minus 125 into 25 you have to do which will be equal to 300 sorry 3125 now you have to just add them and subtract it that's it so let me raise this part here so this is equal to 
so when you do all this addition i'm not adding it now when you do all this addition so first you add this three numbers whatever answer you got to subtract with this 3125 the final answer will be 534375 so i'm not doing the addition subtraction here because the video will become too long it's already has it's been a 10 minutes i don't want to extend more time so i'm just directly writing down the answer i hope you know how to do the addition subtraction so you can do this at home so let's continue with the last question So this is problem E. So we have five hundred four multiplied by thirty five. Now again, you have a two options here. You can write down thirty five as thirty plus five and do it, or you can split five hundred four. So if you split five hundred four, it will be five hundred plus four multiplied by thirty five. So you have to just multiply thirty five with five hundred and thirty five with four. So five hundred multiplied by thirty five plus Then multiply thirty five with four, so four into thirty five. So thirty five five is one seventy five, so one seventy five followed by these two zeros, plus thirty five into four is one forty. Now add these two numbers, so it will be equal to seventeen thousand six forty. So this is how we can use a distributive property. You can split any number. Make sure that when you spreading it, the numbers are simple, so the multiplication will be simple. Now, in case you have further question on distributive property or any other question, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.